With several states considering legislation concerning youth football, many here are wondering, could Texas be next? When Cody Clemens broke his older brother's home run record, he proved that the Clemens name is more than just pitching. The Longhorns wrapped up their easy part of the schedule for a win over Lipscomb, but the real test will come next week in the PK-80 tournament with a matchup against Butler and potentially Duke. The feature that participants are raving about the most is, as soon as you start pedaling, your RPMs are displayed right on your screen. Even with construction workers still putting the finishing touches on the new Texas Tennis Center, the Longhorns opened it up with a win over UTSA. Yesterday, I was in the library studying and I literally I was, took a break, pulled out my phone on Facebook, saw the advertisement, and I literally, I kind of screamed. I was like, oh my god, I have to go to this. Eduardo Balagazar is a student at the University of Texas and a major fan of the latest men's fashion trend, the romp him. I love this. <laughs> The Romp Tour made a stop in Austin for pop-up shop at Independence Brewing. The founders hope it's a good alternative to just selling the outfits on their website. Super positive. Austin's definitely been probably the biggest response we've gotten from um, fans thus far. Vibes really well. People are super into it. The idea of the Romp Him came to the four founders when discussing alternatives to men's fashion outside of traditional button-up shirt and khakis. That's when they came up with the idea of a romper, but for men. The main difference between a men's romper and a women's romper is the looseness of the romper as well as the colorful design. Matter of fact, I think this is my color. Positive feedback from the designs and $350,000 made from the Kickstarter has co-founder Chip Longnecker believing in a bigger picture for his product. Could have probably made some profit off the Kickstarter and just went home and went to bed, but we were like, hey, we really believe in this product and in future products. The Rompin has generated $150,000 in revenue since its launch in May and has plans to collaborate with several artists to create new designs. I like the color, actually. But Lekazar thinks plans like these will have the Rompin sticking around for a long time. I think they're getting really popular and I think a lot more people are going to start to like Once people start to see it in the mainstream, same thing with skinny jeans. Everyone was like, that's not going to happen. Justin Honore, Texas News Watch. We're here to reinstate the dynasty. From the pages of Harry Potter to the Whitaker I Am Fields, believe it or not, Quidditch is actually a sport. Nice, John! And the UT Quidditch team was once a powerhouse, capping a three-year title run three years ago. There's a moment where you're at the World Cup and you just realize, like, you're about to light the tower. And then another moment where you're like, you're the best in the world at this. Like, this is it. There's nobody better right now. To be great, you have to do things differently. And this team is trying to be great again. Yeah, baby! Since Quidditch is a combination of football, basketball, and soccer, conditioning is very important, and this year's team decided to make that a focus. There's definitely been an influx of new drills, uh, but I think the biggest one has just been sprinting at least five or so times down the pitch and back after every practice. I feel much better in games. I'm able to stay out there longer, and the same for my teammates. Um, whereas before, I think I would play like four or five plays and just be exhausted. As well as being in better shape, senior Austin Dixon sees a huge difference in this year's team. This team is more skilled and it's less reliant on like the major players. We can go from lineup to lineup and give people different looks and different feels. We have shooters, we have like cutters, we've got everything. Uh, and I think that's what makes us the most dangerous is we can adapt to situations really well. That formula might be the spell they need to bring home a championship. Susie Rich has always wanted her daughter participate in activities like her brother. And finally her daughter gets to do just that with the Lady Cans. That's the name of the only Girl Scout Robotics team in Central Texas. Finally in high school she said, Mom, I want to be on the robotics team. And then she said, but I don't want to be on brother's team because the girls don't get to do anything. Girl Scouts has been trying to encourage young girls to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and math for just about a decade. Lady Kansas is at the center of this movement. Scouts can earn three new badges focused around STEM by participating in this organization. The Lady Kansas don't use your typical Lego robotics kits. They design their own robots and use equipment that you'll probably find in a hardware store. Senior Anya Akela says the skills learned from the group has a great influence on the whole organization. It's really incredible because as the past statistics or I guess current statistics say that 
women are not the majority in the STEM world. And having Girl Scouts give the opportunity to give these young girls, starting from a young age, like kindergarten level, have the opportunity to learn what STEM is and get uh, introduced into that world at such a young age makes an impact so much greater than um, just maybe hearing about it at school. Rich believes this opportunity can allow older girls to mentor younger girls. It's a good collaboration between the young and the old and then the juniors and seniors dump all of their knowledge into the middle school kids and so as they go off the middle school kids are are well endowed with knowledge from their elders. Justin Honore, Texas News Watch.